Hey there, tubers. It's Ethan here today. And here's our uh, new build slash, like, restoration. So, this is a 2008 Honda Rancher 420 fuel injection. Um, as you can see, she's a little beat up. It has no gas tank in her. The fuel pump's... Um, you can see down there, the fuel pump's missing, the fuel pump housing, and, uh, just needs a bunch of stuff. So, the gas tank and the fuel pump, I took those out, and I need some new petcock valve for the fuel tank. But, I have all the parts that it needs on the way, so this is guaranteed gonna be running and driving within a couple weeks. But, it is, uh foot shift i really like that i don't like the electronic shift or any of the fancy crap or anything because it's just more stuff to break and uh has a uh, 26 inch mud lights on it they're a little dry rotted but they still got plenty of tread left on them so i went up and picked up a bottle of slime and i've dumped some slime in them as you can see by the green slime marks on it but they should hold air now and they used to hold air for a couple of weeks but hopefully this makes them hold air really good now. Um, it has a set of, I think they're, yeah, they're ITP SS wheels. They're, they really make it pop. But I ordered a new seat, new side panel, all this engine stuff that it needs. It needs a, I took the seat off, or what was one. It needs a battery, needs an air box, it, um, an air filter, an air box cover. So I ordered all that. And, uh, I ordered a complete oil change kit. Now, I'm gonna have to flush this. I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna have to, uh, flush the engine out with diesel oil before I change the oil in it. Because I've been flushing the motor out with plenty of oil, but it just doesn't really work too well. But when I pulled the dipstick on this motor first, water just poured out of the motor. So I changed it and I got the oil to where it's like pretty milky, but it's not water anymore. But I'm still going to need to drain it and change the oil and do it right. And flush it out with diesel and stuff. But she's in really good shape. Um, if you just get all the trim pieces, she's in pretty good shape. Um, I put screws where these were missing because these are sticking out. So that's all good now. Um, everything back here is really good. I got some new diff fluid. Diff fluid doesn't actually look bad on this thing at all, but it, I'm still going to change it just because. Complete service kit and everything. And uh, I'll keep y'all updated on this new build. Um, so thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Ethan out.